Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again with a quick review of the Fopo S12 dual screen expansion for your laptop. This product allows you to instantly triple your screen real estate by making a few simple connections to your computer. It provides two additional 12-inch full high-definition 1080p displays that you can use to expand your desktop across all three displays or even mirror your desktop to multiple displays. Now, if you're like me, you probably have a really nice computer set up at home where you've got a nice widescreen monitor, or maybe you're running multiple monitors, which allows you to run very complex programs and split those up between your monitors. So for example, if you're doing video editing, maybe you've got the main program opened on the monitor in front of you, and you've got the rendering screen over here and the effects screen over here, and it just gives you a lot more flexibility to run that program. Or if you're doing spreadsheet work, maybe you've got the main spreadsheet open in front of you, you've got an email over here, you've got a Word document over here, and you're cutting and pasting figures between those three screens, it just gives you, again, a lot more room to work on those programs full screen and see them really easily. The challenge is, when you're not home, you've got your laptop. And again, if you're like me, you probably search for a small laptop that's really portable, but the challenge with a small laptop is that it's got a small screen. And trying to open all those programs on a tiny little screen can be a real challenge. And that's where the S12 comes in. This effectively triples that screen real estate by allowing you to spread that desktop across all three screens. And on one screen, open up the spreadsheet, open up the Word document, have your emails in front of you. It just gives you a lot more flexibility on the road. Now, the way I'd like to do this review is to start with an unboxing because Fopo has given you every possible connection you'll need to hook this up to any portable computer you've got. And then what I'll do is take a closer look at the unit and I'll explain the connections and indicators so you understand how to use it. And then I'll show you how it works with my laptop because it's incredibly easy to use. You basically swing out the two monitors, you put it over top of the screen that's on your laptop, you make two or three connections to your laptop and you're up and running. Plug and play compatible, it works with Windows, it works with Mac, it works with Android, it works with pretty much every operating system out there. And there's some limitations, but you'll have to check the website for that. But in, in general, it's a plug and play compatible device. So it, the product itself, again, is incredibly small. Like I've mentioned, you can see how tiny it is. This is the unit and it folds up really nice and it actually comes with a really nice carrying case, just like a laptop sleeve. In addition to that, you'll find two cables that are USB-A to USB-C, and these are power cables. Now again, depending on how you're connecting it to your computer, you may or may not need those power cables. If your computer has dual C ports on it, where you've got USB-C ports, you can plug directly into the monitor. It'll deliver video and power for both of the displays. And that's what I have here, two USB-C to USB-C cables. You can also connect it to an HDMI port. So on your computer, you may have one USB-C port, one HDMI port. You can mix and match those connections as needed, and you'll find two full-sized HDMI to micro, U, uh, micro HDMI connections there. Now, if your computer doesn't have two USB-Cs or you can't supply power through the USB-C, you can use the USB-A to USB-C with the included power supply, plug that in, plug that into your computer to these displays and they'll power up. So you've got all the cables you could possibly need. You'll find a, a nice quick start guide right here that's gigantic. It'll walk you through the steps to get you going. Again, it's plug and play simple. It's not that complicated. You'll also find a full instruction manual that lists every possible configuration step you might need, showing you how to connect it, showing you how to expand your desktop or mirror your desktop between them. So always read through this manual because it gives you a lot of really good information on how to use the product so you get the best value out of it. Also included with the kit is a screen cloth so you can clean them off if you need to. There's a little cable tie right there to sort of neaten up the cables. You'll find two screen protectors included as well. You can peel these off, put them on the screen so they knock down the glare. They help to keep, you know, from scratches and dust and fingerprints from getting on the screen. So again, everything you need to get started is included with the kit. Now if you stay tuned next, what I'll do is take a closer look at the unit and then I'll show you how it attaches to the laptop because what Fopo's built here is a couple of screens that a lot of other companies sort of build attachments for your laptop and they rely on the laptop screen to actually hold them up and they're kind of wonky on the sides. They've really built a stable product here that's really easy to use. You can set it up in a couple of seconds and you've got, and again, you've got triple the screen real estate, which when you're out in the field, it's just unheard of. You normally are working on a small laptop screen. With this, you've now got triple that screen real estate, which just gives you a ton more flexibility. So stay tuned and we'll take a closer look at the unit. The product features a high impact plastic case which makes it lightweight and incredibly durable. You'll also find a foot on the back for additional support. You can simply pull that out, push the button and extend the foot as long as you need to provide additional support for the unit so you're not hanging on your laptop screen. To put this away, just push the button again, it retracts and you can close it that way. Now there are two displays and they're sort of in a zigzag fashion. So this one folds out like this, then if you flip it over, 
the other one folds out in the other direction. And that's the fully opened unit. Now, your laptop screen would fit in the middle. You're basically going to spread this out like that, hang these two over the top of your laptop screen, and these two feet right here clamp on the bottom of it. So you'll put it over your laptop screen and gently close it until these are around the edge of the screen. And that holds it in place. It's not going to move once you have that set up. Now, as far as connections go, there are several connections on each of the monitors that you'll have available. I'll start on this one. And if we look on the end here, you'll see three connections right there, a button, and an up and down brightness control right there. So the first connection on the top on this particular monitor is a USB-C connection, and that can be used for both power and video. To the right of that is an HDMI connection. If you're gonna make an HDMI connection to this monitor, you use a cable right there. And then finally, there's another USB-C port right there that's used for power. If this USB-C cable to your computer can provide power and video, you won't need to use this connection. If you only have a video connection through USB-C, you'll need to add additional power and you can use the USB-A to USB-C cable for that. This button opens up the settings menu on the display where you can change things like brightness and color tone. And then finally, there's an up and down uh, rocker switch right here that you can use for brightness or for making adjustments through that menu. That's pretty much it for the unit. It's really easy to use and it works really well with all laptops. I hope that closer look was helpful. And now I'll show you just how easy the S12 will be to use with your laptop. Over here, I've got my laptop set up and I've got the S12 in front of me. The first thing you'll want to do is actually open the unit. And there's sort of a zigzag pattern for the displays. One swings around from the back, the other one swings open from the front. Now on the top, there are two little fingers up here and there are two little fingers down here as well. This is going to basically hook over the top of your laptop screen and these two hold it from folding back. So all you'll have to do is bring your laptop in like this, expand this as wide as you need to, then slide it over the top of your laptop like that, and then as you close it, make sure you catch those two bottom fingers down there to make sure it holds really well. And that's it. You can see that I've got two screens on either side. I can tip this back if I need to, if I want a little more angle on it or whatever. And then I've got a foot in the back that I can extend to actually hold it so that the weight of this isn't completely on the screen of my laptop. So it gives me that extra support in the back end. And that's pretty much it. And I love the fact that I can have a spreadsheet open over here. I can be reading my emails here. Maybe I'm playing a video over there because I've got a little extra time over lunch. And the connections to your laptop can happen over one of three types. You can have a USB-C to USB-C, which is the best way to do it. So if your laptop has two USB-C connections on it, you can connect the cable directly from your laptop to either one of the displays, and that'll provide power and video. If you only have one USB-C, you can use a USB-A for power and hopefully you have an HDMI connection. If you only, has one, only have one USB-C like mine does and no HDMI connection, you'll have to use an external hub like this. And there's a lot of these in the market. They're really small, really easy to use. And this basically plugs into my USB-C port and provides another USB-C, an HDMI, and two USB-A's. So I use this when I'm on the road, I'll plug it into the USB-C port. It even allows me to charge my laptop through it, this other USB-C port, but essentially this allows me to connect up one of these to USB-C, the other HDMI, and it provides power as well. So it makes the connection incredibly simple. Now if you stay tuned next, I'll show you what it looks like when it's connected and working and how my desktop can expand across those two monitors. Now I have the S12 connected to my laptop and this is how I normally use it. And you can see both displays are active and I'm currently extending my desktop between those two displays to give me that extra screen real estate. Now the connections between my laptop and these displays are through an HDMI connection and a power connection. And the only reason I need to use two cables is because this laptop only has a single USB-C port. If your laptop has multiple USB-C ports, you can get by with a single cable to each monitor, which will supply both power and video. Now to show you that I'm extending my desktop between the monitors, I have an image on the screen and I'll actually drag that to the display to the left. Let me just try and zero in on it here. It's a little tricky trying to do this in reverse and see it on a monitor, but I think I can grab it right there. Here we go. And I'll move it over here and you can see it adjusts for the resolution back to the main screen and then over here. And what that does is allows me to use programs that are much bigger, much more complex that I couldn't normally see very well on a small screen. And I can move portions of those programs to one screen and I can open up another program and full screen on the other display. And it gives me a lot more flexibility in working with multiple programs. And it's really just that easy to get it working. It's a wonderful product. I've been using it on the road for the past six months or so, and I love it. It's absolutely improved my workflow on the field and I can get a lot more done and have plenty of screen real estate to open multiple 
multiple programs at the same time. And that's all I really had for today. So hopefully you found this review helpful. I've enjoyed talking about it. I love technology like this, and I think you're going to like it as well. So thanks a lot for watching, and until next time, as always, stay nerdy.